morning, good morning, good morning, sunshine. It's a beautiful day. We camped, this is where we camped last night. There was literally nothing here. A bunch of sand. Uh, we're right next to an easement that goes into uh, a park. There's an easement behind me, right over here, uh, on the other side of that little berm. And there's a little trail that goes all the way down, I guess, to the river, which is uh, to the right. I didn't get a chance to explore it. We're on a mission today. We got to get to talk. Talk. We've been saying it for days now. We're doing it today. More than likely, we'll blink and it'll be gone. We'll go right through it. Won't even know it's there. But we're getting there today. Anyway, it was quiet this morning. There wasn't like a sound. There were no no planes, there were no birds, there were no bees, there wasn't anything. So we slept in. There was literally no sound. Uh, and now, now that the world is coming alive, still don't hear any animals, you know, bird, bird wise. But we, uh, I'm hearing trucks on the road far off, far off down this little path we got back here. Um, anyway, uh, it was a nice little campsite. Really quiet, really cozy. Uh, we packed it in around 11 o'clock last night. We would have gotten to Tolk uh, earlier, but we stopped off and met with a, uh, we stopped somewhere and uh, there was a couple in the van and they had a, you know, interesting, we had an interesting conversation, talked for a couple hours, just be BSing and now poof, we're still not to Tolk. So, we're headed there now. We're about an hour out. Uh, we stopped around 11 o'clock last night. And good thing we did, because, uh, you know, apparently we were tired. We found this little bitty place. It's the Wrangell St. Elias. Wrangell. Wrangell. Thank you, Thelma. Thelma's here. Is, she's from uh, San Antonio. Been up here for... 47. 47 years. That's crazy. And, and she survives the snow. I don't know how she does it. She made a steal. Anyway. <laughs> sheer grit. Sheer, is it sheer grit? Sheer grit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, if you get down, uh, down this way, stop in, say hello to Thelma. She'll be here keeping the lights on for you. We just ran across a biker biking from somewhere all the way into Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Vancouver Canada. Big difference. Anyway, she was going down the road, we gave her a sticker, and uh, we got a smile. So, it was a pretty fair trade. Yeah. Anyway, we're still headed. We just left Talk uh, a while ago. Talk. We left Talk. And uh, we're headed to the uh, Nature no, Nature Reserve. Yeah, we're, we're headed to Haiti. Okay, so we made it to the Tetlin Refuge, National Wildlife Refuge, Lee Westenberg Visitor Center. It's actually pretty nice. That's a nice sign. Anyway, uh, we're here, and uh, we're going to check it out. Look, they've got like a, a thing. They've got stuff. Look at this. Oh, look, 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 look. That's awesome, isn't it? That's the way to have a door, if you're going to have a door, right? Anyway. Um, there's uh, a fire somewhere, don't know where, but it's nearby. We've been driving through smoke for, well, a while now, and, uh, well, it's smoking. Yeah, it is smoking. So we're going to go check this out. Uh, they got some, some solar panels. I like the way they do their logs here. That's cool. Anyway, we're going in. Wish us luck. Hope we make it. Well, I did it. I'm a junior, uh, a refuge junior manager. So I got a patch for it, which was cool. Look at the roof of this thing, huh? The roof is uh, made out of sod. So it keeps it nice and uh, nice and warm in the wintertime. Uh, ladies here were pretty nice, fairly nice. Got to see a little video and, uh, and check out the exhibits. Pretty, pretty neat little building. Right out here in the middle of, well, the middle of Tetlin, right? Okay, so we just passed U.S. Customs. And look, and there's the 
proud history, a challenging future. Le Fiat de Pass. Let's say. So we are going now into the Canadian section. It says we got like nine miles to go. Further, but I think it's the border right here. This is the border? I think it's a line. There's a line right here that goes across the road. Yeah, right here. Right here? This is the Canadian border right here. There's the Canadian border, yeah. Let's see, we got the line. There's a line. Look at that, there's a line. All right. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might have to stop. Check it out. The international boundary. U.S. There's a line here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. See the line? See the line? U.S. You can see the... And Canada. Yeah. See the Treaty line. of 1925. <laughs> there it is. You got to maintain that swath of openness. And if you look all the way around back over there, you can see it cutting into the forest. Isn't that awesome? Pretty cool. Anyway, Canada, United States. Canada, United States. Yep. Stay over here for a hot minute. <laughs> We're heading through the Canadian border. Okay, we've been driving for a while, but this is Canadian customs, okay? All cannabis products must be declared. Attention. Tous les produits de cannabis de vente et très déclares. So, um, since we're in Canada, we got Rush playing, because why not? Uh, and there's a nice little uh, camper doohickey in front of us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get our passport stamped. Yeah, baby! Okay, so we came into the Trapper, no, but Beaver Creek Visitor Center in Yukon. And uh, this young lady has, has this, this young lady, she's been taking care of us, giving us a bunch of information. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little beautiful little visitor center. It's a little bitty, but of course, you know, um, like a uh, like the other Canadian visitor centers, uh, the other Canadian visitor centers, they, um, they give you a wonderful little sheet that'll go mile by mile and let you know exactly where you are and what you're doing and what you're seeing. And it's really, really neat. So um, anyway, we're headed out of here. We're gonna go head southeast um, and uh, Otherwise, it's just you're keep here traveling toward Well, we came up the road a bit. I think it's an accident. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Might as well go check it out. Come on, guy. Come on. So we made it to camp. Uh, underneath this box right here is a big old Dutch oven full of deliciousness. Uh, camp set up. Really, really beautiful. We're right next to a river. We've got mountains all around us. Uh, you know, it's quiet. It's peaceful. Isn't that gorgeous? Huh. Yeah, and this is where we're sleeping tonight. Sean's typing up his stuff uh, for his uh, his blog. He's working on that. There's the river. I know. It's rough, huh? Yeah. Um, so we go into Haynes tomorrow. Went through Haynes Junction. And, yeah, it's a little bit teeny town. A little pit stop. So, stop through there. Um, and then uh, we're going to continue on tomorrow. We'll leave out of here early. We got about an hour to Haynes. And then, um, yeah, and then it's a, a glorious day in Haynes, just tooling around, seeing what they have to offer, which I'm sure is going to be something exciting. Sean made dinner, pork roast. Oh, and then, of course, we cooked it in the ground. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah, vegetables. We are gonna eat like kings tonight. Right next to this river. I know, it's a rough life. <laughs>